telling me Johnny wants peace. But he's out for blood. He's not going to stop till he I'm gets I'm just saying if we go to war with the Zakars right now, we might not win. So you're... I have to admit that I really did want to press charges against you, Elizabeth. Yeah, you made that clear. Look, I was just... I was really upset and angry about the hit and run and it seemed only fair that you would have to pay some sort of consequences for your actions but i actually realized that i grew up without a mother myself and i wouldn't wish that upon anyone especially cam and jake you know what that's very generous it's just you know i, I want to put this behind us and move on all of it we all do and i think sam is being very reasonable dr, dr. leo julian two thank you you're welcome. I just hope this will give us all a chance to heal. Okay, on that note, I, um, I gotta go to physical therapy. Sam, thank you. Lucky, you are a really great father, and if the truth were to come out, those kids could have been taken from you, and I wouldn't want that to happen. Dr. Trent, call 7862. Dr. Philip Trent, call... We, we cannot win a war against the Zakars right now. You, you're too vulnerable. I've been controlling this territory for over a decade. I'm not going to let a punk like okay, John things Zakar are different take now, me. Sonny. You have too many liabilities. You have Carly, Michael, Morgan, uh, Christina, Mike, I Alexis. Family when I got rid of what, what about Kate? What about Kate? You lost it when Kate got shot. The Zakars know how much she means to you. They will use her against you. We'll get more guards with no. Kate, and we'll get more guards with More guards? We're already short on guards. They're, They're already higher, in place. Some more. Sonny, we cannot protect everybody. This is not the time to go to war. Then we're going to have to talk to Johnny Zakara in a language okay. that... Johnny Zakara has nothing to lose, and you have everything to lose. I went to see Claudia at the hospital because I wanted to see if, why Trevor was at the cannery. Maybe she told him to meet her, meet her there, whatever. Did, you know. did she? Well, we we didn't finish the conversation because Johnny comes in and he slams me against the wall, puts a gun to my head, punches me in the gut. He's making threats, and he wants to live up to that. I get, I get it, Sonny. I get it. He wants payback. He's gotten it. No. He doesn't just want payback. He wants me dead. So in order for me to avoid a war, I gotta kill him first. And all I want to know is if you're with me on this. Yeah, am I am I with you? Yeah, how how many ask. wars have we been through? I'm just saying right now the way to keep Kate and your family safe is to call a truce. Sonny is taken. I should make a full recovery. Oh, that's great. Patrick said your doctor was brilliant, but that hand surgery can be a little tricky. No, I was actually more worried about you. I got Spinelli working full time to prove that you're innocent. Jason, I know I did it. All the evidence points to me. I the dent in the car, the blood yeah, on the bumper. I know Monica, I fell asleep. Monica hid something too, and she was drunk. And I love you for believing in me, but even Sam has accused me of hitting her. But Sam's got no proof. She doesn't need proof to manipulate me. That's why I'm going to go down to the police station and confess. Hey, Sam. Hey, wait up. So, you're still here? Yeah, you know, I... I want to talk to you. There's something we need to clear up. Okay, just how did how did Sam find out? She overheard me talking to Lucky. And of course, she confronted me and threatened to press criminal charges. Well, you could send her to prison for uh, assault and kidnapping. I know, and that's what I told her, and then she backed down. But she could hold this over me for the rest of my life. I don't want to wait for the other shoe to drop. I would just rather confess and you, deal with it. But you can't confess to something you don't remember. Jason, I have gone over and over the idea that I actually could have hit a human being with my car, hurt someone, and then just drive away like nothing ever no, if, happened. If, if, if you would have remembered, you would have been aware of it, you would have pulled over, you would have called 911. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell the police. Keeping it 
to myself makes me, I don't know, it makes me feel like smug. Like I don't care that I could have hurt no, someone. Of course you care. I, I know I've asked you a lot, but can you just give me a little more time? Can you trust me? I do trust you. Okay, and, I... and, if it, and if it turns out you did it, then you can go to the police. Oh, wait. I'm glad your surgery went well. Oh, thank you. I'll call you later, all right? I'm so. Uh, yeah, I need I need to see you right now. Welcome back. Um, uh, what's the prognosis? Are you going to regain full function in all of your ten digits? Yeah, doctor said, yeah, I will. Okay, good. that's excellent. And a great relief considering your chosen... Okay, what, what, what have you got on the hit and run? Um, you know, this recuperative time is of the utmost importance, but I mean, surely your surgeon must have stressed that, so... Yeah, I have to do physical therapy. Might I also suggest yoga? Perhaps Stone Cold could accompany the Jackal to his Tuesday and Thursday classes. No yoga. Not gonna happen. What have you got on the... You know, that? several asanas massage the hands in a regenerative way. There's, you know, there's the... the sprouting petunia. And the... leaping... tiger. And... I mean, the... jazz hands... Okay, listen, I, I said no yoga. And don't do that in the office. I need proof of who hit Sam. Uh, forgive the jackal. I was, I was merely dreading conveying the information I collected today. There you have it. Conclusive evidence as to who the guilty party is. We're kind of busy with physical therapy, and I just I didn't want to interrupt. You didn't. I, I wish you would have. It's like I feel like. She's torturing me in there. It's hard. Yeah, I remember really myself. Hard. You know, and the harder you work, the sooner you'll be well. So you said you wanted to talk to me about something? You know what? I don't even know where to start. I just... Look, if this has anything to do with Elizabeth and me letting her off the hook, I, I really mean it. I'm not pressing charges. And I appreciate that. I don't story. like her. I'm, that's that's not what I'm saying. I don't I don't know if I'll ever like her. I'm, I'm, I'm really angry that she gets to get away with everyone thinking that she's a little Miss Perfect after all the damage that she's done. And I really don't understand how the two of you could be so attached to each other after... I'm sorry. No. This is really none of my business, and this is what I'm trying to do. I'm or just trying to move to on. To this is... Sam. I'm sorry, yeah. but when you've been hurt as much as I have, it's sort of second nature. Believe me, I know. Anyway, um, I am really glad the boys get to keep their mom dead. And I was just talking through the whole thing, and you're the one who said that you wanted to ask me something, so I'm, I'm really sorry. Go ahead. Let me hear it. I can take it. You said you wanted to move on. And so do I. I just... It just... Every time I find myself trying, I can't stop thinking about you. Me. I didn't want to care about you. But I do. No, I, I, I don't. I think where I'm trying to go with this is saying that I've missed you. I just, I wanted to know if maybe you might want to try again. Mm, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Yeah, well, you can take all the time you want. What do you want? 
You're the one who hits him. <laughs> 